I'm Melissa Barron and thank you for joining me in today's Red Lips video. Today I'm going to show you how to perfect and make the perfect red lip. I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks and hopefully this will help you in choosing the perfect red and applying it too. Okay, so first off, what we want to do is use a primer. Now what I recommend is this MAC Prep and Prime. I've been using this for a couple years and honestly, it's an amazing product to keep inside your makeup bag. This Prep and Prime inside, when you wind it up, it's kind of like this white wax, but it goes on clear. And what I love about this kind of primer is it's just gonna fill in all the little grooves in your lips so that way you have a smooth application. The biggest thing with red lips is it tends to bleed. Because of the pigmentation inside the lipsticks, sometimes it's a little bit hard to make it last all day long. So I definitely would recommend this. So first off, we're gonna take the Prep and Prime and we're just going to fill in our lips. What you're gonna notice about the product is when you first use it, it is very buttery, it's hydrating, but then once it kind of sets, it becomes a little bit more tacky. So what ends up happening is your lipstick is going to kind of stick to it, and that's what's going to make it last all day long and look perfect. A brush I would recommend that you get for your lips is actually this lip brush. Now I love it because it literally looks like a little bullet, but when you pull it out, you have your lip brush inside. This brush is the MAC 316, and when you snap the cap from it on the bottom, you get a professional size makeup brush, which is so amazing to use. And not only that, when you take the cap off and place it on your brush, you can keep it inside your purse without wrecking the brush or getting any lipstick inside your handbag. So I absolutely love this kind of lip brush. In terms of liners, liners is always the number one thing to use with lipstick. So regardless of the shade, I definitely recommend using a liner. It's just going to perfect your lips and look so beautiful on. So three reds that I kind of chose to showcase today. One is this MAC He Said, She Said in a Pro Longwear. I love this shade of red because the tone is a little bit more deeper, a little bit more smoky, um, and it just glides on really nicely. I love these Pro Longwears by MAC. The sad thing is, is I just recently found out that they have been discontinuing these types. So it's the one with the flat bottom and then the inside here is black. I absolutely love these types of liners and unfortunately I don't know if they're gonna come back but I'm gonna keep my eyes open for sure. The other two liners I'm gonna bring up is this deeper one. This is Vino by MAC and you can see it's more of the pencil type that you would use a sharpener and this one really is more on a purpley red tone so it's a lot deeper but I love mixing this color with my red lipsticks to really intensify the look. So you don't necessarily always have to match up your liners to your lipstick but just know that if you line your lip with a darker shade fill in your lip as well so that way it can mix with the color that you have on your lip to really bring off a beautiful color. So the last liner I wanna bring up is this one is Brick by MAC and I absolutely love the shade. This is almost like your true red, your go-to red that I think would look amazing on anyone. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this liner today. So what I want to start off with doing is you want to do the bottom of your lip first. So when you look at the bottom, you're going to notice, I would say, a ledge or a shelf. And that's really where you're going to draw the line. And we're going to make our lips look a little bit more fuller. 
So with your liner, we're gonna go ahead and draw a line on the bottom. So now that we've drawn that line, this is really where we're gonna connect to the outer ends of our lips. After doing this line, I recommend that we're gonna do the Cupid's bow before finishing off the lip. This is really where you can create the dimension and the type of lip that you would desire. So you could do either a point, you can make them more round, almost like a heart, or you can draw them a little bit more, I don't know, fuller, more straight. You can really play around with your lips. So what we're gonna do is draw a V in the middle. Or almost like an X. You can cross over if you wish, but really you want to draw the V. So this is going to start to give that dimension in your lips. Now I'm going to go on the tops of the lips here and I'm going to just line and finish off connecting these two parts. Now that we have finished lining our lips, we're gonna go ahead and use the pencil and shade in our lip. This is another process that's really going to make your lipstick last longer. Amazing. So now that we have filled in our lip, it's time to apply the lipstick. So I brought out a couple of lipsticks to kind of show you today, and they're definitely my go-to reds that I have in my makeup bag. So the first one that I've had for a very long time, I don't know if they currently have this product. You would buy it at Chopper's Drug Mart or wherever L'Oreal is sold. And this is a collection exclusive by Blake Lively. I wanna say it was Blake Lively because the name on it says Blake. This is the 402 Blake's Red. I love this color. It's such a true red when you look at it and it's gorgeous on. So this is really like a nice warm red. Um, it's more on the blue tone when you look at it. The next red I have to showcase is this Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick Infrared Matte. Now this Smashbox one is gorgeous. Again, super deep. I love this tone. For fall, this is like so stunning. The winter months, Christmas. Um, you cannot go wrong with red. The next two colors I'm going to showcase are two MAC ones. Now these are really a good go-to. So for anyone out there looking for the perfect red, you're either gonna be on a warm tone or a cool tone. So for a cool tone, this one is definitely, you know, a must. Really good to use in the summer months. This is Lady Danger. You can tell it's a lot more orangey, it's a, a lot more brighter, but really, really a gorgeous summer red. The other one I'm gonna showcase, which is an all-time favorite, is Ruby Roo, Ruby Woo <laughs> by MAC. And this one, you can see it's a deeper true red and a lot more warmer than the last shade that I showed you. So I find if you're trying on a lipstick, it's one or the other, a cool tone or more of a warm tone. And it really depends on the look that you prefer. Also skin tone as well, but don't be afraid of reds. Then the color we're going to use today is actually this Rouge Coco. Number 444 Gabrielle by Chanel. I absolutely love the Chanel reds. Now this is Chanel's favorite red. And this is just kind of more of that warm, 
It's gonna go really well with our brick liner that we used today by MAC. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this lipstick. Now the biggest thing when you're using a lipstick is you don't wanna wind it up too much because you could break the lipstick. So you wanna make sure that you have almost a fingernail amount showing in order to apply. And I always recommend using the surface of the lipstick the way that it's come rather than placing it directly straight and ruining the form of the lipstick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and apply our 444 Chanel Gabrielle Red Lipstick. And there we have it. To go with my shirt today, this is how you would perfect and do a beautiful red lip. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that it was beneficial and that you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave all your comments below. Again, I'm gonna list all the products that I used today and talked about in this video below. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching.